Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video is one of my most favorite videos to film, and it's going to be my monthly favorites for the month of February. Now, I do want to start off this video by saying that February was an amazing month. It's one of the best months that I've actually had in a really, really long time. You guys know that I went through my little thing, my little depression or whatever, and I am back full blast best mood ever and February was absolutely amazing to me. It was also my birthday month. A lot of you guys don't know. I actually turned 27 which makes me feel a little bit weird saying that because it sounds like such an old age and disclaimer because last time that I said that I'm old when I was 26 I got jumped on by a lot of my viewers. Not saying that 27 is old but I just I literally don't feel 27 so it's just the weirdest thing ever to me. But anyway February was awesome. My birthday was awesome. Everything is awesome. My favorites are awesome. So what we're going to do now is jump into them. And another thing that's awesome is that my first favorite is actually going to be a giveaway for you guys. I've been wanting to do a giveaway for a while on my channel. It's been, I mean, I think my last giveaway was on Instagram. The one before that was a Facebook giveaway. And now I want to do one on YouTube. So what I'm going to be giving away is my first favorite. And I wanted it to kind of tie in with February. We had Valentine's Day. And I feel like the Naked 3 palette by Urban Decay was very fitting and that's because all of the eyeshadows are very rose gold toned hopefully you guys can see those right there gorgeous gorgeous eyeshadows i love all of the urban decay naked palettes i have every single one i know it's bad it's a little bit of an addiction but i don't know every single time they come out with them i'm a sucker for packaging and i feel like they're so convenient to travel with and i definitely use this a lot during the month of february so I want to give one away to you guys. I'm going to post the rules down below. I'm going to make it very simple. Probably just have to follow me on Instagram or Facebook and comment down below saying that you did so and leaving your username. Something very, very simple. I'm not going to make you guys like jump through hoops and loops uh, just to win a product. So that's going to be my first favorite for this month and I love it, love it, love it. The next product I did mention when I did a makeup haul and I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of an update because it is a huge, huge favorite and it's somewhat of an expensive product. It is the OPI Nail Envy and this is $20. I know it's crazy. Don't get me wrong, I know that $20 for one nail polish is insane, but I've actually been utilizing Opinion Outpost lately. Basically what it is, it's like a website that you go and you take these surveys on like movies, on new products, on new topics. It's the craziest thing ever and you actually get paid. You can get paid through PayPal, you can get paid through Amazon gift card, you can get paid through iTunes, and a lot of you guys actually told me that you had found Nail Envy on Amazon for like $10. So I think that's what I'm gonna do next time because I paid $20 for this just because I had the extra cash laying around. I kind of spent it, I was like, ah, whatever. But when I get this again, I really don't wanna spend $20 on it. So I wanna thank you guys that told me that you can find it on Amazon.com for around $10. And if you don't have extra $10 laying around, just check out OpinionOutpost.com. I'm going to put the information on that down below. That's a website that I've been using for a while, and I actually have mentioned it on my channel before. But basically what Nail Envy is, it's a nail strengthener, and it has a lot of protein in it. You put it on your nails every single day, seven days in a row, and it grows them out long and strong and healthy. The only thing, I don't know if I'm the only girl that has this problem, but my, my thumbnails don't grow like they do grow but they break very easily and they grow so much slower than the rest of my nails um, but anyway I've been doing this every single day I would say for the past a little bit more than seven days maybe ten days and they are growing in very long and strong and healthy and once I get them to the desired length and strength that I want I'm just gonna be using this as a top coat and a base coat and I really do love this stuff a lot of you girls had asked me back in the day when I used to have my nails very very long what I used to get them like that and it's definitely OPI Nail Envy yeah, this one right here. Okay, next favorites, I am hoping and praying that you guys can notice somewhat of a difference in my skin compared to last week's video. La la ugh, say that again. Compared to last week's video where I um, did, what was what did I do last week? I did a Milani haul, I did Milani matte lipstick swatches, and I did a makeup haul. And when I was editing that footage, it was so hard for me to watch because I kind of was just staring at my skin the entire time. And I'm like, if that's the only thing that I can see, I can imagine what my viewers like. It was just hard for me to look at myself in the eye or look at my lips or to at the products I was talking about because my skin was really bad. And don't get me wrong, it's still not perfect, but I have been using a couple of things that hopefully you guys can see. Like I had a lot of breakouts over here that now are flattened out. Um, 
I do have a couple still around my chin area over here, but I think that it's definitely clearing up. So that's for two reasons. Number one is a couple of things that I put in my skincare routine, and a second thing is a makeup product, which is going to be the next favorite. So um, what I've been using is this CVS Pore Perfecting Toner, and basically it's just witch hazel. It says 100% witch hazel. I got this, and I use this as my toner after I wash my face every single day. I just, I'm very generous with this, and I also apply this on my back and on my chest because a lot of you guys know that I had a lot of problems breaking out in those areas too due to stress. And I want to thank you guys because you gave me so many recommendations on different products that I can use for body and um, I haven't been able to pick any of them up yet but I definitely wrote down a long list of all the products that I want to check out that you guys have recommended so I've been using that I also went back to the Queen Helene Mint Julep Mask, which I believe I mentioned in my, I think it was my vlog channel. I don't believe that I mentioned that I went back to this here on my channel, but basically the reason that I really like this mask is because it has sulfur in it. My skin seems to react very, very good to sulfur. So I've been using this some nights as a spot treatment and then about three to four times a week as an all over face mask that I leave on for, it says 10 minutes, but I do more like an hour um, just because I feel like it really calms down my skin so I picked this up this one's at CVS and this one is at Bed Bath & Beyond I had to go on a wild goose hunt chase for this stuff they changed the packaging so I didn't even recognize it but I got it and it's like four dollars Bed Bath & Beyond and then what I also went back to a lot of you guys always ask me my acne.org 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 do you still use it I do sometimes I stray away from it I try different products but I have gone back to it and on the nights where I don't use this as a spot treatment I use this a generous amount all over my face um, my sister Melanie has an, am an amazing video with her before and after using acne.org for me it definitely does calm down my acne but for her like it, it completely erased everything I don't have those extreme amazing results but it does help keep everything at bay and it is the best benzoyl peroxide that I have come across so far and I love the huge packaging and I just bought this since I'm not using the whole system and the treatment gel is only $20 with shipping so and you get what like eight ounces yeah eight ounces so that's really not too bad now the next products I want to talk about are makeup related and since we're already talking about skin another thing that I think helped clear my skin a lot or not I don't want to say clear my skin because it's definitely not to the point where I want it but it's it's calmed down a lot I was trying all these different foundations since I was breaking out so much and I'm not gonna lie to you guys I was getting a lot of mean comments here on my beauty channel of people asking me what's going on with your skin your skin never looked like that before what are you doing and the thing was I was trying to use BB creams because I thought it would let my skin breathe a little bit more but it wasn't giving me that extreme coverage so you guys were seeing everything that was going on underneath the makeup so after I started getting all those comments I'm like screw this I need full coverage foundation and I was using like very very full coverage like my hourglass immaculate um, what else was I using I was using the Kat Von D lock it tattoo foundation I was using the Tarte um, airbrush Amazonian clay foundation and I was using them every single day just rotating them and it was such heavy coverage and I think that my skin was just freaking out like Lee what are you doing why are you putting all these products on your skin so I was like okay calm down Lee what you need to do is go back to your powder foundation and what I actually did this sounds so weird I went onto my videos and I found where my skin was the absolute clearest and that was around March of last year so I found my skincare routine for March of last year and my makeup routine like my everyday makeup routine and I went I want to go back to that exact skincare routine which I'm in the middle of doing once I have my skin to the point that I want it I will do an updated skincare routine showing you guys all these products in action and how I use them and what my little schedule is with the skin but anyway I saw that I was using this foundation the bare minerals ready foundation and my skin oh, I miss it so much it was like so flawless and no acne marks because I went back to when I did tutorials and had nothing on my skin and I was like okay that foundation definitely did not break me out I need to go back to that skincare routine and that foundation so I did go to Ulta and I picked up a brand new one of the bare minerals ready foundation this is a full coverage powder foundation sometimes I need to pair it up with a concealer back then I didn't because I didn't really have anything all that crazy to cover but now there is a lot of scarring underneath this don't be um, tricked or whatever from like my ring light and everything there is a lot of scarring but at least the breakouts are calming down so I did pick this up in the shade R170 
and if you guys want to see an updated foundation routine even though I already did one I I'm gonna post that one down below I'm gonna post where I did um, the updated foundation routine that I saw where my skin was beautiful that made me want to go out and buy this product again but if you guys want to see another updated one now with me using this now even though it's gonna be the same thing all over again I can definitely do that but for now just check down below to see the video that I'm talking about and last but not least is a new mascara combo CoverGirl mascara, the Outlash, out, no, the CoverGirl Lash, Lash, <laughs> oh my god. The CoverGirl Lash Blast mascara has been replaced, but it has been replaced, okay, why can't I speak? I'm stuttering a lot today. It has been replaced with another CoverGirl mascara, and this is the Full Lash Bloom in waterproof. Of course, you guys know that I only like waterproof mascaras, so it's in this pink tube, and I guess it's supposed to just, it says that it blooms your lashes out. I mean, I don't really know. I feel like it works just as good as my CoverGirl Lash Blast Mascara, if not a little bit better. It kind of gives me a little bit more of a curl, so I really like that. But since you guys know that I like length and thickness, CoverGirl mascaras never give me that thickness that I want. The only mascara that has ever given me the thickness that I crave is the Jordana Best Lash Extreme Volumizing Mascara. I buy this at Walgreens and there's not even a Walgreens near me so when I happen to be at one I stock up. This is like a $1.99 mascara. The only thing is I wish that it came in waterproof. It doesn't and I don't like it on its own at all. I have to pair it up with a lengthening mascara. So the two of these together are amazing. It's what I have on my lashes now. It's what I've had on my lashes for like my last six seven, eight videos I want to say and for now I'm taking a break from the CoverGirl Lash Blast and I am loving the CoverGirl Full Lash Bloom. So the two of these together, no need for fake lashes because it gives me a very dramatic look and I love that even for every single day. And my last favorite I want to say is going to be my vlog channel. I know it's like a shameless plug, I know I keep talking about it but I just feel it's it like I have my vlog channel now for what two months I would say, not even two months. No, definitely not even two months, maybe one month. And the interaction with you guys is just absolutely amazing. Like, it's a very different feel than here on my beauty channel because um, I'm not using my professional camera or anything. None of it is edited, it's all just pasted together. And you guys get to see a real, raw, unedited, unfiltered version of me. <laughs> half the time I look like crap, um, half the time, like, it's happy moments, sad moments, serious moments, crazy moments. And um, I just love sharing my life with you guys. And I love that you guys actually watch and you care. And you guys are just, a, I always have said I have the sweetest subscribers ever. Like you guys are just awesome people. So that's definitely another one of my favorites, my vlog channel and you guys. So thank you guys all so much for watching. I am off to film another video because I'm actually going to be moving the day after tomorrow. So I want to stockpile a couple of videos up so that way I just have to worry about editing and putting them out there while my new place is gonna be like in shambles for a week or so. So I'm gonna go do that. Thank you guys all so much for watching. Don't forget to enter the giveaway. I will post that down below, as well as everything that I mentioned and any other videos that I talked about, it will all be down below. So thank you guys all so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Mwah. Bye. You can get paid through, um, oh, what is it called, PayPal? I know that $20 for a, okay, it's not, a, it's not an eyeshadow, it's a nail polish. Hold on, my nose is running. <sighs> Why does my nose run every single time that I'm gonna start a video? That's cause I'm cold actually, it's cold in here. Why do I have a brain fart? PayPal, Amazon, Amazon gift card, I don't know.